emulsions without anything like lecithin or mustard or egg yolk or any sort of stabilizer are really difficult to hold, especially at the temperatures that we make our butter sauces at. Just like the bulletproof mayo recipe, because I struggled so much with making butter sauces early on in my career, I found a way that I like to depend on. A lot of folks tend to overdo the amount of liquid that's early on in their butter emulsions. I like to start with just two tablespoons. This is maybe two millimeters inside of my pot. The other tool that's indispensable on this is some sort of whipping utensil. I really like these because they have a flat base. You can make sure that your butter is melting evenly. I also don't go at a rolling boil. I wait until I just have some bubbles percolating on the bottom of my pot. I actually don't like to go cube by cube. I like to start with like a decent sized handful of butter into my pot. The agitation allows us to hold the emulsion. As we add more butter, we're increasing the fat content because some of that water is evaporating, but don't forget there's still water inside of the butter. I'll pause once I get to a place where it starts to look like the beginnings of a mayo and I'll take it off of the heat. Notice I still have cubes of butter inside of my pot here. I even have some air bubbles forming and because of the heat from this pan still being hot and being able to melt the rest of this butter, no cream, no stabilizers, just a thick, unbroken, luxurious butter sauce. From here, you can season this however you like, black pepper, fresh herbs, some garlic. Mm. So good. Using room temperature butter, it's totally possible to make butter sauces. It's just you're not giving yourself all of the advantages that you can have if you have a cold cubed piece of butter.